Hey y'all, it's Kelsey Janae. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting into another tutorial, you guys. I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite pole tricks, which is the elbow stand. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Kelsey, I'm a pole dancer and pole instructor. And here on my YouTube channel, I talk about all things pole. I give you guys tips, tricks, tutorials, and pretty much whatever else I feel like. But today we are gonna get into this pole trick, which like I said, is one of my favorite tricks, which is the elbow stand. And yes, sis, if you're a beginner, you can do this too. So don't be afraid. I know we're going upside down, but I have faith that you can do it. Now, this trick is one of my favorites for a lot of different reasons. For one, it's a lot of fun to learn. When I first learned this trick, I fell in love with it and couldn't stop doing it just because it was so fun and I never thought I could do something like that. Number two, it's a great party trick, so it definitely wows the crowd. So if you're a dancer and you work at a club, sis, this is a go-to trick for you. That will definitely get the crowd hype and definitely get you paid for sure. And number three, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced pole dancer, there are a lot of variations of this trick and a lot of different ways to do do it, which I will be showing you. So yeah, that's what makes it even more fun because there's a lot of different ways that you can spice it up, jazz it up, add a little razzle dazzle or whatever. Now, of course, before we get into this tutorial, make sure you consult a medical professional before you do any type of physical activity just to make sure you're safe and well equipped to do it. Definitely make sure you're subscribed, okay, because I don't want you to miss a thing and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a new YouTube video. And while you're at it, you might as well just go ahead and follow me on Instagram because that is where I post all my pole dancing videos. So if you're more interested just to see me dance and not talk because I pretty much just talk on YouTube definitely head over to my Instagram and follow me on there so we can always stay connected and yeah let's go ahead and get into this tutorial So the first thing that we're gonna do before we get into the elbow stand tutorial is doing our low flow warm up. So if you don't know what a low flow warm up is, it's basically a warm up for your body before you actually start doing real pole dancing or learning new tricks, but it's just not structured. So basically all it is, is doing light flowy movement around the pole. You don't wanna do any hard moves when you're warming up your body. I'm doing a lot of body rolls, I'm doing a lot of hip rolls, I'm doing doing a lot of walks around the pole and just doing nice, subtle, slinky movement just to get my body warmed up for the workout ahead. So it's very important just to take your time when you're doing this low flow warm up, not doing anything too crazy, not exerting too much energy. It's really just to get the body and the pole warmed up. So yes, when you're doing spins and stuff on the pole like this, it actually gets the pole warm. So like me, I'm in Pittsburgh, the Northeast. Um, it's still pretty cold here, so my pole tends to be very cold. So to warm it up, this is also a way to do that so that I can get the pole warmed up and ready to work with so that it's not too cold, it's not too slippery, but I actually start to get some grip on it without actually working out too much before my workout. Now, I'm going to be doing this video like I would be doing a normal regular class if I were teaching someone or if I would be having my own pole session. So you can actually do this with me in real time. So I'm going to be warming up for a couple minutes here. I usually suggest that people warm up for about 10 to 15 minutes. And also I want you all to think too, this low flow warm up is zero structure. It's just you moving to the music. Do not think about it too much. I'm literally just letting my body move and not thinking about where I'm going next. I'm kind of just going with the flow literally. And of course, when you're at home, please always be careful. I know me, I'm in my bedroom, I'm dancing on carpet, my pole is not permanent so please make sure you're checking your pole to make sure it is nice and sturdy before you start any pole session always be careful depending on the surface that you're working on so if you're on carpet be careful if you're on hardwood be careful um, just always just take those safety measures while you're pole dancing just to have the awareness of what you're doing in the space that you're moving in for example me my bed is always in my way because my room's not that big so I do have my bed as something that's pretty much an obstacle all the time when I'm pole dancing but I kind of just work around it so always make sure you're having that spatial awareness when you're doing your pole sessions in pole dancing but yeah low flow warm-up is a lot of fun I love doing this kind of warm-up especially when I'm doing my own personal pole sessions just because it gives me that time to get my body warm to really you know move it out work it out before I start doing any stretching or anything too it just gets it nice and warm and flowy and fluid and just ready to move so yeah highly recommend doing this it's a lot of fun too it's a great way to 
develop your style so if you're like just starting pole and want to start developing some type of dance style doing this low flow freestyle movement is a great way to develop that and also just kind of challenge yourself to really just go with the flow like i keep saying because this is what it's all about so yeah go ahead get warmed up do some flow around the pole do some pole walks some body rolls hip rolls all that good stuff and then we will get started with the tutorial i also wanted to mention too all of my poll information will be linked down below in the description box so if you're looking to get a poll at home you want info on my poll or the grip i use anything like that all of that information will be linked down below in the description box All right, so now that we've got our body warmed up, it's time for a water break. Sis, anytime you're pole dancing, always make sure you stop to get some water or Gatorade, whatever you need to make sure your body is staying hydrated because girl, cramps are real. Now, time to get into this tutorial. So this is where we're starting. You're actually gonna be on your knees right in front of the pole and we're starting here and I'm actually gonna open up my knee so I'm in this kind of squatted position and I'm coming here so that I can bring my forearms down and my hands around the base of the pole. Now it's very important to pay attention to this starting position. You wanna make sure your hands are wrapped around the base of the pole. You don't wanna grab the bottom of the pole like this, so definitely make sure your hands are not wrapped around the bottom of the pole. This is the incorrect position, and you also don't want your hands to be like flat on the ground. That is also the incorrect position because that gives you no support. Make sure your hands are wrapped around the base of the pole. Now your arms, let's look at these. You don't want them super wide, like this because that's not going to give you any type of support and you also don't want your head to go straight on the ground but you also don't want your forearms to be completely close together like this this is also the incorrect position you want to leave a little bit of space between your forearms because we're actually going to bring our head down on our arms with a little bit of a gap in between your arms now once we get here we're actually going to pick our feet up and stand up so our butt is up in the air and from here we're going to take our feet and start walking towards the pole so when I walk towards the pole you will see that we will walk to it until the pole hits my back once we're there I'm gonna take one leg and kick up to hook the pole in my foot now once we get here you really want to press through those shoulders to really engage your body to have your body up and not like your body weight completely down on your arms and your neck now don't bring your legs back here I'm showing you this because I don't want you to do this Make sure you have one foot hooked on the pole and you can bring the other foot forward. And this is where it starts to get fun because you can make a lot of different shapes, you know, like I'm doing like this kind of split action right here. You can also take both feet off the pole if you have that balance and start doing different shapes with your legs, like these different cool like yoga like poses, you know, bringing one leg in front, one in the back, doing a straddle. And when you're ready to come down, just hook one foot, bring one down and you are back where you started. 
Now, time to make this a little bit more challenging. If you feel like you got this move down packed, you can actually deadlift into it. So I'm coming out in a straddle and literally using my abs to bring my legs up to the pole. So instead of kicking one leg up at a time, I actually started in a straddle position and brought my legs straight up. Now that is a serious ab workout, you guys. So if you want more of a challenge, that is a great way to do it. Really works out those abs when you do that. And I actually had to take a break right here because my cat was yelling at me and wanted to come inside like he always does you know trying to interrupt me so here i'm going to show you guys again i'm starting in a straddle and i'm dead lifting my legs up really engaging those abdominals pushing through the shoulders and i'm going to come back down and do it again because kitty was just getting in the way and did not want me to live <laughs> like he always does but yeah so let's try this again we are gonna go up, I'm gonna open up the legs and come up straight from a straddle. So yes, once you're doing this trick, like everything in pole dancing, it's all just repeating the motion and the movement so your body can one, understand what it's doing and really gain that muscle memory, but also so your muscles can get stronger as well by doing these exercises over and over again. So if you want a little bit more of a challenge, we're actually gonna go ahead and throw on some heel sis because yes, that is gonna make it that much harder. And I'm actually gonna do some leg waves right here too. So I'm really just dropping the hips side to side to make my legs go in that motion. So that's another fun thing that you can work on as well. Um, but the thing I like about these heels is that they add a great benefit for an added workout because I'm actually gonna do some upside down crunches right here, as you can see. So it's dropping the hips and coming back up to the pole. And the thing about the heels is they add a whole nother element because they're basically like having ankle weights they're like a pound or two pounds each so yeah it's definitely a workout for your ankles go ahead and drink some water sis go ahead and get hydrated because i know you're gonna need it after this workout and after learning this trick um but yeah if you want to throw some heels on you can definitely do that as well again just be careful as always i know me like i'm always tripping up on this carpet so it is hard for me to wear heels sometimes but yeah it's something that you can definitely do and of course if you're working in the club then yeah it's a no-brainer like the, this is something that you're gonna need to do as a trick in the club for sure um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try these upside down crunches again So as you can see I'm coming up in that deadlift and then I am just using my abs to bring my legs up and down from the pole And this is also good to help you prepare for inversions as well um, So if you're not quite doing inverts yet This is a great way to prepare because it gets your body oriented with being upside down and gets you to understand how to engage those muscles when you're in that inverted position so yeah, definitely a lot of fun to do but also also a great workout as well. So now that we've learned the elbow stand, it is time for play time and sis. This is your time at the end of class or at the end of your session to just play and have some fun with whatever you learn. So here you're just basically gonna be seeing me do the same things over and over again because I'm just gonna be practicing this trick over and over again. So here you see me doing these leg waves again. And honestly, by this point, I was so tired and exhausted that my play time was kinda lazy. So that's the thing too. You are going to see me in here messing up not doing things perfectly you know it's not going to be super clean because that's just how it really is pole isn't always perfect of course if you're following me on instagram i'm pretty much only going to post like the good videos that i take of myself but a lot of the times it is trial and error it is me messing up so don't put pressure on yourself like you have to be perfect all the time because that is not realistic at all we're always a work in progress and that's exactly why it's called a pole journey so just take the time to to kind of have fun and really live in the moment you know enjoy learning something new and just be present with that and just have fun with that all the progress and stuff will come down the line it all comes with practice and consistency but it's also important to remember to just have fun so yes that's why i encourage just playing at the end of class not thinking too much just freestyling and really playing around with the new things that you learn so if you learned how to do an elbow stand today play with those different variations that i showed you 
work on those exercises that will help you know strengthen those core muscles and strengthen your abs so you can just do more and more down the line in your pole journey but yeah i'm pretty much just gonna vibe out now so thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was fun thank you so much for watching if you would like to book a private lesson with me you can absolutely do that link below in the description box to my website janaeway.com where you can book a private lesson and if you happen to be taking poll videos and posting them on instagram definitely tag me in them so i can see them i love connecting with you guys on here but also on instagram too so yeah make sure you're following me and tag me in your videos if you happen to post them Alright you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Your girl is out of breath. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you would like to see more tutorials like this. And if you would like to see anything in particular, definitely let me know. If you post your pole dancing videos on Instagram, definitely make sure to tag me on there so I can see it and share it on my story because I definitely want to show you guys support as well the way you all support me because it is so, so greatly appreciated. I can't tell you guys thank you enough. Definitely make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a new YouTube video. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye!